Well, welcome. It's Alaska Mountaineer, and my wife and I are going camping. I'm in my motorhome. Uh, I hope you can even hear me because it's, it's way up there on the screen. But yeah, I'm going to take you with me and let you see the drive to the camp spot. It's not that far away. A place called Eagle River. I uh, just want to get out for Father's Day today. Anniversary's tomorrow, and we thought we'd just get out. So let's do this. So I'm going to be leaving here and going to the uh, dump and make sure everything's empty and getting propane filled up and, and filling up the motorhome and yeah so I'll keep you alive from here to there and uh, yeah and then we'll see what I'm gonna do I don't know how to use the time warp yet uh, function for the rest of the trip we'll see if we can figure it out so I hope you enjoy the ride Now I'm heading south towards Tudor Road. Then we'll head east from there. Happy Father's Day to everybody out there. It's Father's Day 2021. I know I'm very blessed to, to have my kids in my life, and I'm proud to be their father. I don't know if it's the other way around or not, but I know I'm very proud of my kids. Thank <laughs> you. 
pushing buttons right now trying to figure out if I can get this in time warp without looking at the remote. I don't think I can while it's activated. Alright, I'll do that when we take off from, uh, from the gas station. theater there to your right where you can watch movies for two dollars. driving. This is a Class A motorhome and I am comfortable driving it, but it scares me to death when somewhere on the sidewalks. I was afraid they're just going to, I don't know why, just walk right into me, but it still, still makes me think.
think I put that camera with only place the wipers don't don't get. Alrighty, I'm going to take care of this and when I get all the stuff done that nobody wants to see, I will be back. All right, here we are on the last little part. My wife's down there looking for a spot for us. She put the egg with me. She has to work on that, so she's looking on back and forth. That's why we didn't camp too far. The Chinook State Park, and we call it the Eagle River Campground, and I think it is the name of it, actually. A lot of bears in this park. So we might even see a bear. get down here I'm gonna pause the video until we find the spot and I have to uh, it's gonna be boring my wife's not looking for one so hopefully it's that easy but bring you back once we find our campsite. We're just going to drive around through here and, and so we can find it. All right, so here we are all set up. My wife made it. And yeah, so this is us about 30 minutes after arriving. We have everything set up. We got it. We got it down pretty good. I'll just take you around and show you what we've got. Got a little fire started over there. Uh, not getting too much of one. Just trying to get it caught up now. Yeah, and this right here is our our wood pile. So we brought a bunch of wood with us. And yeah, and all the slides are opened up. I got me a new grill. I'm excited to try. This is new Mr. Steak Infrared. 
I'm excited to give it a try. Let me unlock it and show it to you. You know, it's propane, but it heats up these and makes an infrared oven or a grill. So we might kind of hope it works. Yeah. And there's garbage I have to get rid of. But yeah, so this is where I'll be for the next three days is right here. The last time I camped, we had an ember fly off and look where it landed. And I could tell you where that was, but uh, that's all I'm going to say about that. <laughs> so yeah, so this is us camping in Alaska and Eagle River. And uh, yep, we'll bring you back if we go for a walk or something like that. All right, take care. Fire. Got the fire going. So yeah, so I'm going to plant my backside right there. Actually, I'm going to show you what I'm going to be looking at. <clears throat> I'll be right here for three days. <laughs> I'll get back with you later. Take care. Welcome back. Right now, we're doing some baked potatoes and corn to the cob. I'm on the fire. I got the heat about like that. And I can usually, one hour, be thinking, you know, I have to fix that. In one hour, these things are perfect, and that's when I'll start my steak. So we have some steak right there, and some chicken right here, and I'll be cooking that up in a little bit. So yeah, just wanted to show you the corn or cob and and baked potatoes are on over the fire. And, yep. Right here we go. This is mine: corn or cob, baked potato, and steak. And Linda's burnt chicken because she likes it crunchy and that's what she got because that's what she wants yep so there you go the grill did fairly well so yeah until next time sorry I can't talk I have to eat bye welcome back this is day three and I'm getting ready to cook breakfast I'm going to be cooking sausage bacon and eggs uh, yeah, I cleaned my grill the other day the best that I could. It's come pretty clean. It broke in now, so it'll never be clean clean, but I mean as far as it's clean, but you know, it's got some stains on it now, but it's okay. The grill did well. I definitely have to learn how to use it. Uh, you know, I, I kind of got the flame too high or something going on, but it definitely cooks it faster. There's no doubt about that. So yeah, nothing's changed. There's still nobody around us. Let me go around here real quick. Hmm. But we're all by ourselves right here. Now, so I'm going to build a fire. I'll throw a couple paper towels in here. And I'm going to get a fire going. You should be able to get it going with that. And Yeah, so we will make me some breakfast. I will get back with you soon. Did, oh, today, I think we're going to, I'm going to remember to take the camera with me. And we'll uh, walk down towards the river and, and show you some scenes and mountains and stuff. Uh, and you can see a little bit of it through the trees there. It's foggy, so you definitely can't see the top. It's about halfway down. Yeah. But I'm going to get cracking. I'm hungry. Okay. Got the fire started. And got some sausage on the grill. Yeah, this is infrared grill. I like that part of it a lot, breathing and cooking. Just doesn't use to it. So, yeah. All right, I'm going to keep at it. Well, my grill quit working. So, I'm doing it old school. I got sausage underneath there from the left work. I'm not cooking anymore. It's just staying warm. A little bit of bacon on top. And now the eggs, which are sticking to the old pan. But it's working. Yeah, so uh, I'm going to continue on with our breakfast okay breakfast is done and you got sausage eggs and bacon and of course i'm not eating all this that's a lot of food but uh i can be munching on it throughout the day but yeah it all worked out the old campfire did its trick so yep sorry i won't show you me eating but believe me it's gonna be good okay my wife and i was going for a walk thought I'd take you along with us this time so uh you can 
just see what I don't know just look at our path I guess <laughs> we're walking and uh, I'm gonna put this on time warp and I'll get right back Okay, we're going to be walking down towards the river. There's a we are here thing. Yeah, the Chugiak State Park. One thing Alaska has, it has some great outdoors for the outdoor enthusiast. I love the outdoors, but I don't do it anymore for absolutely no reason except for lazy, I guess. And we're getting down to the river. You can see right here there's uh, these posts in the ground with two before on top of where you can set canoes so you can load them up on your back to carry them. And there's a picture of it right down here. Here's the river. We're walking a little bit closer. Oh, we do have our bear spray with us. We have lots of bears in this area. There's the picture for uh, how we do the canoes. Yep, so the pepper spray, the bear spray, you know, hopefully keep bears away from us. And there's a, uh, let's go see the river in memory of Jerry Dunn. January 28th, 1943, October 4th, 1998. And shoot. It's been for quite a while. Oh, and then a ladybug right there. Ladybug rocks on these things. Alright, let's walk on down here. Get a better look for the river. Yeah. Show me for that way. Let me take a couple pictures. Alright, walk down a little bit further. The mosquitoes are kind of out right now. They're starting to get to me. Yeah, I'm not sure what made these paths. If bears did it, I doubt the bears really could have done it. Or people are going to put their canoes in to be a good spot. So we got the, uh, oh, I forgot what it's called, Wild Rose, I think. Yeah. Some of the foliage through here with wild. Yeah, one good thing about talking to you right now is the bears can hear me too and hopefully they'll uh, be going the other way. I know you'd like to see a bear. Uh, I like to see bears too, but not when I'm out like this. Yeah, so this trail continues for, I heard, a very, very long ways. So we'll walk to this last canoe holder. That might be where you can put it in the water. But it's probably a resting area. Yeah. Yeah, so we have a, a 
place where I'm sure since there's no water here, you put it there to rest. Yeah, but as you can see, the path just continues on and on and on. So I'm going to quit filming for now. It all looks the same from here. I was wrong. These were prickly rows. And these are a type of dogwood. I can't remember. Something like a something bunch dogwood. I can't remember. Oh, look at that. There's a bee in that one. Grabbing the nectar. Try to sneak around and see these moose. They're right there. I gotta be careful because they will charge the mom will if they think the cat calf's in danger. And if they're eating leaves. Beautiful calf, nice colors. Right now the mom doesn't either see us or she trusts us so far. Well, here we are. Uh, day, see, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, day four. My wife's backing out, and I'm getting ready to head out. So I'm going to put this on time warp. And, yep, I'm going to see you back in Anchorage. Well, we made it back home. Thank you for watching. Till next time, uh, subscribe, like, and share if you like the our camping trip. And yeah.
and as always, be safe.